Hey guys, welcome back. So another update to the Varroa situation in Australia. It's been pretty dormant for about two weeks. There's talk of Varroa being in Australia for two years, but these claims are basically unsubstantiated. Now, we've, we had about 38 individual findings of Varroa, and there was one up there on the left-hand side at Narrabri, but yesterday there's been a new one at Coffs Harbour. So Coffs Harbour is about about four or five hundred kilometres away from the original site, and this is connected to the original infestation, but they believe that the hives were moved there prior to the new emergency orders being put in place. I actually drove up to New South Wales over the weekend for a family vacation and had a bit of a look at the almond fields, and you can see a lot of beekeepers already starting to place their hives. There's been a permit system put in place where beekeepers must get a permit to take their hives from Victoria into the Sunraysia region, but I believe no hives from New South Wales are allowed. There is also a permit in place for Queenslanders to take their hives through New South Wales into Victoria and the Sunraysia region. So it's going to be a pretty big event to get the almonds, citrus and all the other fruits and bits and pieces pollinated in a timely manner without all the hives from New South Wales. Thanks for watching guys. For further information go to the Department of Primary Industries and as a bit of a side note just remember that I don't make the laws so if you've got any grievances with governments keep them to yourself.